Congratulations. You've joined a company with decades of history delivering quality, craftsmanship, integrity, and service, and a company deeply committed to your personal growth and safety and to our collective success. And you've taken a step forward on the journey to a fulfilling and rewarding career. Please pay careful attention to this safety orientation briefing. Our safety policies were developed by safety professionals with years of experience in the industry, and they offer your protection and our collective well-being. Welcome aboard. Shipbuilding can be hazardous work, and your safety and that of your co-workers is our highest priority. Our goal is zero incidents, best achieved by fostering a safety culture that filters through every level of the organization, creating an environment of safety leadership and employee engagement where worker safety is priority one. Situational awareness is key due to potential hazards in the workplace, from heavy equipment such as cranes and forklifts to material that may be laying in your path to falling slag from welding and torch cutting, you must be aware of your surroundings. Think safety. Your supervisor will provide detailed instruction on the safety procedures that apply to your area of responsibility and job assignment, but generally all employees in manufacturing facilities and onboard vessels must, as a minimum, wear long pants, a hard hat, protective eyewear with side shields, non-skid steel-toed work boots or toe covers, proper hand protection, hearing protection, a personal flotation device work vest if going close to the water, additional personal protection equipment such as fall protection, a respirator for breathing protection, or a reflective vest may be required according to your job assignment. Cell phones and other electronic devices are a distraction and their usage is not allowed in construction areas. Because of potential trip hazards in the workplace when climbing stairs or boarding a vessel, take extra precaution and always keep both hands on the handrail. Pay close attention to trip and fall hazards such as obstructions and wires, unfinished railings, or open hatches while on the deck of a vessel or in manufacturing areas. If you're going to be climbing more than five feet off the ground, fall protection is required. There may be hot work in progress when you're on board or in manufacturing areas. Never look directly at the welding arc and be careful of falling or flying slag from welding, cutting, or grinding whether you're on a vessel or in a construction area. Various types of equipment will be in motion throughout the shipyard. Stay aware of your surroundings and only go in designated areas per the instructions of your Conrad supervisor. Be aware of crawler cranes, cherry pickers and man lifts, overhead cranes, powered industrial trucks, rotating equipment in manufacturing areas. Never position yourself in a pinch point between mobile equipment and moving or stationary objects. In the event of an emergency that requires the facility to be evacuated, a horn will blast three short signals followed by a brief period of silence. This warning sequence will be repeated 15 to 20 times in succession or until the facility is clear. Please remain calm and pay close attention to the instructions of your supervisor who will guide you to your prearranged mustering area or to safe shelter in the event of hazardous weather conditions. When it is deemed safe to re-enter, the return to work all clear signal will sound. A horn will blast three long signals followed by a brief period of silence. This warning sequence will be repeated 15 to 20 times in succession or until the facility is clear. The management of Conrad Shipyard believes that all accidents are preventable and that each of us has a responsibility for our own safety as well as that of others. That's why we've placed stop work authority in the hands of every member of the Conrad Shipbuilding team. If you see anything unsafe or don't completely understand the job you're about to perform, it is your duty and responsibility to use stop work authority to halt the job until your concerns are addressed. 
you're encouraged to listen carefully in pre-job safety meetings that identify hazards on the job you're about to perform and steps to mitigate the dangers. You're urged to fully embrace the Conrad culture of safety and environmental awareness in everything that you do. If you witness or are involved in an incident or are aware of any unsafe conditions, regardless of seriousness, you must report this immediately to your supervisor. Working in confined spaces can be extremely dangerous if proper precautions are not followed. If your work assignment requires you to work in a confined space environment, you will receive special training to allow you to recognize the characteristics, hazards, and health effects of confined spaces, select and use appropriate PPE, recognize the warning signs of dangerous conditions that will cause evacuation. All persons entering confined space environments must receive proper training before commencing work. Smoking is only permitted in designated areas. Your supervisor will communicate where these areas are. Designated smoking areas ensure smoking does not occur where flammable materials are stored. Non-smoking areas are clearly marked. Your supervisor will advise of any special conditions that may occur in the workplace, such as x-ray related work, chemical transfers, trenching, excavating, lead work, any work activities that require specialized training for entry into the area. In addition to our safety culture, Conrad Management is highly committed to the protection of our environment. Therefore, do not throw trash on the ground or in the water. Use designated and labeled waste containers. Immediately report any leaks or spills to your supervisor. Thank you for your attention to the safety orientation briefing. If you have any questions about the information presented, Please do not hesitate to ask your Conrad Safety Representative. You are important to us. We want you to return safely to your family and loved ones at the end of your shift. Be safe.